Okay, so now we're just gonna try connecting up my trusty Surface Pro 4 device here uh, onto the screen. So this is something that you might wanna do if you are say showcasing something directly from your PC so you don't have to transfer data onto the Surface Hub to actually show it. All I do here is I swipe in from the right hand side. You probably won't be able to see this because it's quite small. There's a little button called connect. I then see something called Surface Hub Bells Hill. I simply connect on that, uh, click on that, and it will uh, wirelessly connect straight through to the Surface Hub device. And you can see there, that is actually the, the, the picture that's actually on my screen at the moment. So from here, I've actually got ticked allow access and input from the Surface Hub to my device. So I can scroll up and down on my Surface Hub device, but more likely what I'd want to do is put my Surface device out of the way, and perhaps if I'm standing up and presenting, control my PC directly from the Surface Hub device. And again, everything that's possible on my, hub device, on my Surface device is possible on the Hub, so things like zooming in on the website, playing video or content directly from here are all possible. So that shows you just how simple and easy it is to connect up those devices, but perhaps what would happen if I wanted to connect up my mobile phone to present it? Well, I have luckily here got my mobile phone. I'm just out of shot here, so I'm just gonna wire up the mobile phone and hopefully you can see uh, my mobile phone is just, just sitting on there at the moment and I'm plugged in using just a, a standard cable. So what I want to actually do is to now project my phone screen uh, directly onto the, onto the Surface Hub. So there's uh, a little application called Project, Project My Phone and I'm just gonna connect that now, project my screen my phone will then flash up to tell me that that's what I'm about to do. And hopefully you can now see that my phone is actually now showing on the Surface Hub. Amazingly now, I can control my phone from the Surface Hub. So this is going via the Surface Hub to my Surface device and onto my mobile phone. And I have full access to control uh, my, my particular phone. So if I hit the Windows key there, you'll see that is my mobile phone. And there's all, all the stuff that I normally have on my mobile phone. And if I wanted to open up, for example, Bing search there, and go onto the BBC website, which we were just on before, on my mobile phone, you can see that everything works just as if uh, it was there. So again, if you wanted to present something coming directly from your mobile phone, it's, it's a very, very neat application. Now clearly as well, I might want to actually capture that. So again, just swipe down from the top, click on there, and I can now say, well, actually, the thing I'm particularly interested in is this medical cannabis should become legal uh, as a particularly interesting story. And I can maybe circle that and I can uh, make a note on it. I can say this is interesting and uh, I can forward that on to somebody uh, just via email as I would do normally. So quite, quite a, uh, a neat little trick um, and something that will be useful for a lot of people if they're presenting mobile applications that they're perhaps building or showcasing to customers. So kind of concluding the, the uh, initial kind of uh, Surface Hub video, we're probably gonna follow this up with, with future videos showcasing some of the video capability, the uh, the room-to-room -room video capability, and also uh, showcasing how uh, the video will work with connection to single user devices as well. Um, but for now, just to get an idea of who's gonna use the Surface Hub devices, well, for me, it's anybody that's currently using uh, older technology like projectors, whiteboards, screens, flip charts, et cetera, et cetera. This device really is designed to replace all of those older legacy technologies. It's incredibly simple to use, as you've hopefully seen there. And we've had just a few hours playing with it um, before kind of showcasing what we've shown you today. Um, we'll follow this up with videos around uh, uh, how to use some of the more in-depth features but for now, hopefully that's been a useful session.